Hi, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal's daily news show and community update. I'm your host, Frederic Wigolo. A thunderstorm on July 6 didn't stop Belmont Troop 304 from holding a court of honor for three members who recently achieved the rank of Eagle Scout. Joanna Tsuvelis brings us the story. ...and join the elite company of Eagle Scouts. Please come forward when I call your name and remain standing. Santi Mello, Guthrie Hayden, and Bennett Moore. Let's give these Eagle Scouts yeah. Scouts, please be seated. No one will ever know the unnumbered acts of self-sacrifice from your parents. I'd like you to depend the yes, eagle, with your parents and the eagle yes, medal on your uniform. The gold cross. a few comments about what their scouting experience means to them. First, we will hear from Santi Mello about his scouting experience. Hi guys, uh, thank you for being here, it really means a lot. Um, I started my scouting journey as a wee boy back in uh, Pack 377, joined in second grade, and uh, you know, really picked up the basic skills for scouts there and got the arrow of light. Transitioned over to the Boy Scouts where I was met by uh, a good friend of mine, Joe Wenzel over there. Uh, I could say him and uh, his older brother really inspired me to uh, go with the scouting journey and um, as well as all the older scouts that are not here but you know are here in uh, in our hearts, but yeah, the um, the Eagle Project was definitely challenging at some points, but it definitely builds character. Uh, I can say I learned a lot from it, and I'm really grateful to, for the experience. And I'm really grateful to be standing here next to these guys. So thank you. I'm very excited to be speaking alongside family and friends who have supported me throughout this journey. I'm also very thankful to have the ceremony in the first place. Due to COVID, I never thought it would be a reality to stand here today. My experience in scouting has consisted of many things. Merit badges, climbing Mount Monadnock, sleeping at the Museum of Science as a Cub Scout, going to Teal store or summer camp, selling reeds. Out of these, most important to me are the relationships and friendships I've made. Many of my best friends are scouts, and for good reason. A scout has to be kind to others and also to his community, passing the boundary of superficial or fake kindness. We grew up together in scouting. Seeing people grow up with you is truly amazing. I've had many mentors along this journey and I'd like to name some of them. Mr. Bogay, Mr. Ackerson, Mr. Mazzoni, Mr. Fitzpatrick, Mr. Kinzinger, Mr. Davidson, Mr. Mannion, and Mr. Bazadola, who are leaders of past and present, who have personally gone out of the way to help me accomplish my goals and helped guide me through my years of scouting, including my Eagle Project. There are many other adults and scouts that did this game, did the same. With this in mind, I give a, a big thank you to all of them. I feel, in a sense, that I'm still that young kid looking up at older scouts saying, there's no way I'm making it. But wholeheartedly, coming out of scouting, I have. I promise to always live by the scout code and treat everyone as you would like to be treated, no matter how much their tent smells. Thank Now we'll hear from Bennett about his scouting experience. The weather was wonderful. And we can talk a little more about it. My earliest memories of scouting come from being a Cub Scout in Pack 377. I loved making Pinewood Derby cars and baking for cake competitions with my dad. The cakes usually turned out better than the cars, but both were fun regardless. As I advanced to the Cub Scout ranks, many of the friends that I had joined with found other interests. From the time I earned my out arrow of light, I had trouble finding a Boy Scout troop to join because no one that I knew was continuing in that direction. I tried joining the troop that my last remaining friend in scouting was joining, but it wasn't the right fit for me, so I ended up taking a hiatus from scouting for about a year. At that point, I pretty much gave up on joining another troop. 
Thankfully, I was friends with Marcus through school, and he persuaded me to come to one of the Tuesday night meetings that came to be a staple of my weekly schedule. I agreed, went to the meeting, and for the first time since I was a Cub Scout, scouting was interesting and fun again. I quickly began the Troop Scribe, which allowed me to participate in patrol leader conferences. Allowing scouts input into how the troop was run and what trips were taken was always one of the biggest pluses for me with Troop 34. I have to give credit to the amazing scoutmasters and troop leaders who I've worked with and learned from over the years. Mr. Bogay, Mr. Ackerson, Mr. Kinzinger, Mr. Davidson, Mr. Fitzpatrick, anyone who I forget to mention, I'm sorry, there are just so many. All of you helped to guide our troop in the right direction while still allowing us the freedom to do what we wanted. I honestly could not have asked for a better arrangement for leadership. In terms of my own leadership skills, it would be non-existent were it not for the opportunities I was provided through scouting. National Youth Leadership Training and Equal Week at Store were influential experiences that I was able to convert into lessons when helping the younger scouts later in my scouting career. The true final push that guaranteed my pursuit of the Eagle Scout rank was my trip to Philmont Scout Ranch. My grandfather, Jordan, was a lifelong scout and scout leader. His favorite memories and best stories all came from Philmont. When he passed away in 2018, I knew that I had to go all the way, and our trek was an amazing experience that I believe every scout should have the opportunity to see for themselves. Despite the pandemic and my chronic procrastination, I completed my merit badges and my service project, all of which I'm extremely proud of. I hope that my grandfather is as happy with my achievement as I am. Uh, and in his honor, um, I'm presenting my grandmother uh, with both the grandmother and grandfather. And she couldn't be here. I feel satisfied with my scouting career. Um, this is very, very proud of myself. Round. Yeah. And this is not the end. This is this is not the not end of me. Yet. No, I'm definitely gonna. I'm still in the troop. I'm still around, still going to camp outs. I'm going to be here as a, an adult, you know, father of scouts, 100%. Now that there are both boys and girls in the troop, that's a definitely a plus. So I don't yes. have to worry about that. But yeah, I will definitely still be in the scout troop. And him too. He's yeah. not saying anything. <laughs> it feels great. It feels uh, long awaited. And uh, I'm really proud of my, my accomplishment. Uh, and I'm really proud of the, the, the guys I got to stand next to. Uh, for the ceremony, it was great. Despite the weather, I'm really happy.